Hi, in this video, you will learn how to set up your GNSS receiver to get RTK corrections from a base station using radio connection. We show this procedure on an excavator, but the process is the same on all MC1 solutions. There are five steps in this. Select connection type, select channel number, set the base station parameters, set the machine's antenna parameters, and final check. Step 1. Select connection type. We start in the main menu. Press positioning. Open the GNSS profile option. Press new. Decide which RTK source to use. We choose radio. Now we select connection type. MC1 assumes you use the internal radio and automatically initializes the radio in the GNSS sensor. A green check mark and a message confirms MC1 has detected the radio, also showing the radio name and the next arrow. Go to next page. Step 2. Select channel number. We may select a channel number to receive corrections from the base station. But if the radio doesn't have any channels loaded, we press the frequency button. Here we enter the frequency settings for the desired base station. Enter radio frequency and the channel spacing. We use the default settings for protocol and forward error correction. Note, the radio settings set up in this page must match the radio settings on the base station. Go to next page. Step 3. Set the base station parameters. Here we select the default settings for Base station reference, reference sensor, reference antenna. Go to next page. Step 4. Set the machine's antenna parameters. Select the antenna type used on the machine. Here we select CGA100 for both primary and secondary antennas. Go to next page. Step 5. Final check. This page summarizes the correction status for the new GNSS positioning profile. MC1 gives the profile a default name based on the configuration made during profile creation. We can change it by pressing here. Enter new name and press OK. Look for position type. This shows fixed, meaning that we have a reliable GNSS position fix on the machine so we are ready to work. Press the flag to save and store, and press OK to go back to the main menu. Remember that the user reference manual contains more details about this. That's it. You have learned how to set up your GNSS receiver to get RTK corrections from a base station using a radio connection.